Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and I am hoping that I've got the settings right on the microphone, which I've moved a bit closer to me, and um, on OBS, and will do in Movavi when I edit. I mean, honestly, this is so complicated for someone as untechnical as me. We will see how you guys react to the sound in this one. And I mean, I can barely tell the difference between the sound in any two videos, so I'm useless. Anyway, let's give it a try. This is a fascinating construction. Um, just a quick mention, Patreon, um, the Peter C. Hayward hunt is still live. Um, the apps and the merchandise all going very well. You will see a piece of the merchandise in the video. And uh, there is... Of course, the Discord server, etc. They're all on the links under the video, along with Sudoku Pad. But look at this line that runs through this puzzle. This is absolutely fascinating. It covers every cell in the puzzle, one line, and it's basically called a meandering path by a constructor called Ten Feet, of whom I've never heard. But this has been recommended to us from the Discord server, and apparently it's very interesting. So I'm certainly keen to give it a try. Uh, it's a between lines Sudoku. So the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits on a line must be between the digits in the connected circles, i.e. greater than the lower of the two circle digits and lower than the greater of the two circle... And le let me read that with better intonation, i.e. greater than the lower of the two circle digits and lower than the greater of the two circle digits. So if you had a 2 here and an 8 here, these would have to come between 2 and 8. They... They could include a repeat. I mean, those could both be a 3 and that could be a 5, say, and that would be a perfectly adequate um, obeying of this rule. Digits connected by a black dot, we have two pairs of these, must have a ratio of 2 to 1, but not all possible dots are given. And I mean, I love, this is yet another of these videos, no given numbers in the grid, just as some markings, and apparently we can solve this with a unique solution from this. It's fascinating. I mean, do give it a try on the link under the video. I have no idea about the difficulty of this one, but I am about to give it a try. As the shirt says, let's get cracking and uh, let's start this puzzle. How? How do we start this puzzle? This is I've really been so inclined to consider a puzzle a bunch of nonsense as today. How do we start? Okay, one thing I now remember, yeah, this is, this is important and maybe makes a mockery of my not knowing what I'm doing, is that on a between line, one and nine can never be on the line. They always have to be in a circle. And the reason for that is fairly obvious. Imagine you put a one here. What would you put in the circles? You'd have to have one lower number and one higher. And even if it wasn't here, even if you put a one, I'm trying to find somewhere which doesn't see either of its circles, and they may not exist in this puzzle, but um, even if you put a one here, I mean, you can never have a lower number than a one in the circle, that's the point. And the same is true for a nine with high numbers. And therefore, ones and nines, because every, yeah, this is it, every cell in this grid is either in a line or a circle. So the ones and nines can only be in circles. Ah, oh, here it is, box two. There are two circles, so those are one and nine. Because nine, one and nine can never appear in any of these cells, because that would banjax their line. Um, okay, so column six as well. There's only two circles. So this will work for every row, column, and box, because each of those has two of the digits one and nine. Maybe there are other rows, columns, and boxes. I might as well look through them all to see if there are any two circle ones. And wouldn't you know it, there aren't any more. Unless I'm missing a box. I've done all the rows and columns and all the boxes. Okay, so we're gonna have to do something slightly cleverer next. I don't know what that is. I suppose those two could both be a one nine pair, and then there'll be one here, or that, and that, and one of these two. I don't know. Um, there must be something that tells me. 
Ah, look at this row. Yes. No, no. <laughs> I was going to say, if as one of these must be an extreme number, a 1 or a 9, for the row, because there are only three circles in the row, so one of them must be a 1 or a 9. So does that mean that the other end has to be the other extreme? But actually it doesn't. You could have a 9 there and a 5 there and a 1 there. So, oh, maybe it's how they connect up. But, ah, oh, yes, okay, right. I think what I was considering doing anyway, and now I am definitely going to do it, is to colour the ones and nines. So I found three of them. I'm going to colour them blue. We're going to get two blues in every row, column, and box now. I'm also going to differentiate between the ones and nines. So we'll have a blue flashed with red, and that must be different in this column from that one and in its box from that one. And what I mean by different is one of them is a nine and one of them is a one. I don't know which way round they are, but that must be true. And now look at this circle. This is perfect. This cannot be a yellow extreme digit one or nine because of, it would clash with that one in the row. But it also can't be a red 1 or 9, because it would be the same as that, and you couldn't put any numbers between them. So that is not a 1 or a 9. The 1 or 9 in this row is here, the other one, and is red. Um, and that can't be yellow or red, because it connects to a yellow line, to a yellow um, extreme, and it's in the same box as a red one. So in this row, that's the other one or nine and is yellow. This is how to do it. This is, this is good. That can't be either because it sees both of those. So that is the red one. Now yellow is in one of those two and I don't know which. It could be in this if that was in between one and nine. I'm just realizing how will we ever disambiguate? This is one of those puzzles where if it wasn't for these black dots, I think that's going to be the solution. If it wasn't for those, you could fill the whole puzzle and at the end of it, you could subtract every number in the grid from 10 and it would still be valid because you'd have swapped the 1s and 9s around and just changed all high value 8s to low value 2s and so on. But these are going to figure that out for us somehow, which is interesting. Oh, in fact, already these are in a column with a 1 in it. But somewhere between those two cells, there is obviously a 1. So this can only be 2, 4, 4, 8, or 3, 6 now. So it is narrowing down. I'm not going to enter those because that's still quite a few possibilities in both cells. Now, let's keep trying to move. This could be... Oh, I don't think it's obvious how to do the next thing. Oh, right. Yes, in box 7 here... We've got to have a red 1 and 9 somewhere. It now can't be in those cells, and it has to be in a circle, so there it is. That's neat. Um, but the yellow can be in any of them. That's fine. Red 1 or 9 is in, definitely in one of those. That is not... Am I, okay, I am going to start marking green circles where I know it can't be a 1 or a 9. Um, just because at least I won't be reconsidering them again again. This one, for instance, sees both yellow and red. So, ah, and therefore in this box, there we go, there's the dividend. That one is the red one or nine. This one sees both, in, well, it sees both in a very logical way because it sees them both there, so that's not a one or a nine. So one of these two is red and one of these two is yellow. One of these two is yellow. That one cannot be yellow because it would be joined to in exactly the same digit there and you couldn't put anything between them. So that's the yellow one in this column. Doesn't fix which of those is yellow. I want to get rid of the green markings as soon as I can, but I want to keep going. Right, that can't be yellow or red. So it's not a one or nine. 
So the two in box five are in those cells. That's the red one. That's the yellow one. That all makes sense down this line. That's fine. Let's put in some one nine numbers. Uh, we might actually be closing in. That's the red one or nine in box four. That's the one in box six. And there's only one more. So that's all the red one and nines done. Now, can we finish off the yellows? Not there. Um, one of those two. Ah, here. That one is a definite yellow one or nine. This one can't be. That's nothing. Oh, so in the column, that needs to be a yellow one nine. Right, and that isn't. Right, I'm now going to get rid of the greens because they've kind of done their job. And I'm just going to mark the last. I think I have this X wing left of possible yellow one nine positions. So I'm going to half yellow those. Now, is it time to start figuring out which color is which? I don't think so. Ah, look, there's a couple of. I first saw this. This is between a red and a yellow. Actually, why don't I just get rid of the blue? Let's just have reds and yellows. Sorry, I I thought it was going to be very helpful at the beginning to have all sorts of all the ones and nines in blue, but let's just do red and yellow now. Now, this circle is in between a red and a yellow. And that means it's a, a way along. So if this was two, three, four, that could be five or six or seven, but it couldn't be eight because that is going to be the other. If that was a one, that would be a nine. That might be more helpful here. There are, ah, there are three digits there that have to be different. Now, I have to be careful here. I was very tempted to say those three have to be different, so this is a five. But these three don't have to be different. Two of them can be the same. There have to be two different digits here. So let's imagine that's a one. This could be two, three, four. And I was going to stop there and say this has to be a five because this has to be six, seven, eight. But this could only be seven and eight, including a repeat. So that could still be six. So that works the other way around as well. And I can't narrow that down. It's five or one of the numbers next to it. If it's a six, you could fit seven and eight there. If it's a four, you could fit three and two there, including a repeat. Um, do we know? Um, we've done ones and nines. Can we start working on twos and eights? I think that doesn't feel very helpful. Let's keep trying to find these middle digits because they might yield something. Middle digits kind of come in between a red and a yellow circle. Ah, oh, there's one. Ah, oh, this is an important one. Yes, this is the one. Right, it's the same deal here. This, I'm going to write four, five, or six in there because, again, these three have to be different and these have to be two different digits. So this can't be as high as a seven because you couldn't fit eight. Well, you couldn't fit numbers in between eight and nine either in those cells or in those. And it can't be as low as a three, the same for low numbers. So that is four, five, or six. Th yes, okay, this is a group of either numbers from two, three, four, and five, and there is a possible black cell pair, or if this was higher, if this was a nine, and these had to be higher than four, they'd be from five, six, seven, and eight, but there is no black cell pair where one, a ratio of two to one in those. So now we know that this is not a nine. All the reds are ones, and I'm glad I colored them separately, and all the yellows are nines, and I've gone from having no digits in the grid to having a Oh, hang on, to having 16 digits in the grid. I can't mark those ones. I can pencil mark the nines. Um, and that's a good start. And these must be lower than six. They're from two, three, four, and five. And the only pair you're going to get there is a two, four. And we've got a real start. That is five or six. This is three or five. These have to be higher than five. So they're from six, seven, or eight. That's another middling number, but it doesn't have quite so many line numbers around it. 
if that's a nine, this is quite helpful, but we don't know yet. So what about this pair? Well, they can't have a one. We established that a while ago. Oh, yes, okay. I, I think there can't be a two on this dot as well. If that was a two, what number are you going to... If, if you have a two on a line, you need a one on the other end of the line. But neither of these circles can be a one. And obviously these circles aren't, so there can't be a two on it. So it's either a three, six pair or a four, eight pair. I don't see how to disambiguate which at the moment, but there may be a way. But let's just keep going with this idea. Um, right, now, this is four, five, or six, and the numbers go up from there. So they're from five, six, seven, eight there. They're from two, three, four, five there. Where does eight go in this box? Actually, it can go there. It can't go here. It's in one of those two cells. No, I don't know what the right questions are yet in this puzzle. I haven't really understood it in that sense. Um, ah. Okay, here's an interest. Oh, it doesn't quite work. I was going to say, where does eight go in this box? Doesn't it have to be in the circle? But no, it doesn't. It could be in between that one nine or that one nine. So that is not the right question. Still, that's the sort of thing I mean by... Oh, this can't be in... Oh, no, it could be a nine, because that could be low. Oh, come on. Is it here? If that was a nine, these would be from eight, seven, six, five, four. That would be four or three. That would be two or three. That does not butter my parsnips. Um... Two, four pair, one, two, four. Oh, three in this box has to be in one of these cells. Doesn't mean much, does it? Ah, here, yes, we did have this. These, this is going upwards to that circle and then upwards again. So, at least two, three, or four there. This must be five, six, or seven. And this must be six, seven, or eight. This can't be four anymore because these have to be at least two, three, four. And now we've got a five, six, seven, eight quad. So that's two, three, four in the box. Does that have to be five? No, that can be five. Look, this is another going up arrow. So this is a kind of midway elevator stop. We go from one up through those to that, up through that to that. Now, I suddenly know that these can't be from 2, 3, and 4, because then you'd have four cells filled with only 2, 3, and 4 in the column, which is nonsense. So they must include at least a 5, and this must be at least 6. Therefore, it's 6 or 7, and this is 7 or 8, because it's carrying on up the uh, escalator or elevator. Um, still don't know about these yellow cells. These have to now be from 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So 8 in the... Ah, bingo! 8 in this column has to be down here on this line. So 8 on a line needs a 9 in one of its circles, and that is now this one. So those two are the X-wing of 9s. These two have nothing in them at all. Um, we've got all the 9s done. Let's just get the colouring right so that nobody complains about that. Eight's on this line. Now this is a kind of elevator down. Um, that has to be eight, seven, six, five, maybe including a four. So this can be four or three, and this can be three or two. About this, that's probably high and that's probably low, and that makes this easy. Same here. That's probably high, that's probably low. Doesn't really help much. Oh, we've got a two, four pair, so that's not from two or four. Oh, and now we've got a three, five, six triple, so this is a seven, eight pair. Then we get a seven, eight pair in box 
four, which makes this a six. So six is not on those. Now we have got a two, three, four, five quadruple, and this is a seven, eight pair as well. Oh, this is really strange. So where does seven and eight go in this column? One of them there, the other one must be here. I don't know what that does for me, nothing. Three, five pair in the middle row. So that's a six in the circle, and that's a seven, eight pair. That takes eight out of that black black dot cell, so four out of the one below. Um, one of these is a seven or eight. Oh, this is a three, five pair now. Three, five, nine, six. Two, four, seven, and eight to place. That one must be two or four, because it there's a seven, eight pair in the box. Ah, oh, now here. These two have to be more than three. So they're from four, five, or six, which forms a triple with that one. So that's not a four. And this is two or three, which is actually not very helpful. Um, that is from two, three, four, or five, which really doesn't get anything done. Six, this two, four pair. Maybe this, if that was a three, it would be telling me that was a four, eight pair. But if this was a three, six pair, which I think is more likely, it would be telling me that was a five. Ah, this row. Yes, what's in the circle? Well, it has to be lower than whatever is here and here. So if that was a three, this would be a two. But this has to be... 3, 4, 5, or 6. That has to be 2, 3, 4, or 5. That's not actually getting anything done either. Um, this circle is obviously low. I have a feeling it might end up being a 2, but, but we don't know that. Um, it's not 5, 6, 7, 8, quad. This can't be 7 or 8 here. Ah, it's meant to be high, though. So, at the moment, three, four, five, or six. Could we keep going up all along the line? If that was three, four, five, oh, easily. Well, there's one degree of freedom. But I thought this was going to be high. Then we would come down to two or three here. Oh, I'm not quite getting this. These ones are from... Two, three, four, five, six. That's too many to pencil mark. This I thought was going to be an eight, but that was based on a wrong assumption. Oh, come on, what am I missing now? Sorry if you're seeing what to do next. Those include a four for this box, so that doesn't. So there is a four in one of... Oh, that is very useful. There is a four in one of those two, because that's a two, three, four, triple... And we worked out somehow that this can't be. Oh, because of a four, five, six triple. So there's definitely a four there. There's definitely a four there. And there's definitely a four in one of these two. And this is a three. And that is in a useful circle. Gives us a two there. That can't be a two. So now these can't be threes because they have to be higher than that. And this can no longer be a six. It's either three or eight. Two's in one of these two cells for the row, so this is a four. That's not. Uh, the four in this row, it's in one of those. I don't know which. That can't be three in the column. That can't be three or four. Ah, so this can't keep going up. If that was five, six, seven, you can't fit more than one eight there. So this must go down. And it now can't be one or two. So that is three or four, with four or five in between. And then it goes up again. Yeah, which isn't that helpful, but it's probably done something here. Three, well that's five or six. No, it hasn't done anything. That's surprising. There is a three in one of these two cells in box 
4. So those don't have a 3, and that is a 3. Let's just take the corner mark out. Uh, that can't be 2 anymore, because that's now a 2-4 pair. The 3-5 pair makes this one a 2. And, and this one a 2. Three, five, one, nine. These are from two, seven, and eight, which is a weird combination, but forms a triple there. One of them is a two, but these are in actually very unhelpful cells relevant to the circles. Um, one, two, nine. Now these, oh no, that's still that hasn't got narrowed down. Actually, I thought it was going to be interesting, and it isn't. Two there, two there. There's a two in one of these cells. The two cannot be here because that would have to be a one. It can't be here because you couldn't fit anything between two and one. So two in this row is in column nine. Now there's a two in one of these cells and that's not helpful at all. In fact, this two does nothing except get placed there looking pretty too, but not actually helping. It's a very interesting puzzle. This really doesn't work the same way as, as anything else I feel like I've done before. This can still be... No. If this was a 6, this is quite interesting, if that was a 6, these would have to be 7 and 8, and that would break this cell. If you had a 7-8 pair there, you'd have nothing to enter there. So that is a 5. These could never have had five on, and I don't know why I'd left it there. This can't be five anymore. It doesn't really resolve these, but it takes five out of those two cells and puts it, therefore, on this circle. And now this goes down five, four, three. These others in the column, are in the row, I mean, are six, seven, and eight. That one can't be a six. So that's a seven, eight pair. These are from three, four, and five. Oh, I was going to say there's a 3-5 pair there, so that must be a 4. That's bogus. This could still be a 5. Um, that can't be a 3 anymore because of that. And now we know the last black dot. 8 and a 4 on it. Those can't have a 4. In fact, that now has to have a 3 in the circle. So that becomes 5. This becomes 6. That makes this a 5 and this a 3. Still can't resolve the seven eights, but we're getting a lot of other things done. Um, this can't be eight. Oh, these can't be six, so that's where six is in the box. That's a five seven pair. That can't be seven. Three, five, six. These are from two, four, and eight. Aha! There's no way they can include an eight given that circle. So that's a two, four pair, and now that's going to sort out all our eight, seven pairs in the middle, I think. Oh, well, not this one, but it makes that an 8. This can't be 8. 2, 4, 9, 1, 5 must be here. 3, I don't know. Uh, that is the last one in its box, so it's a 2. This is a 3, 7 pair, so that's a 6, 8 pair. Doesn't let me decide what that is. Oh. There's a three looking at that in the row. That's nice. This can't be three anymore, so the three in the final column is weirdly fixed. Get a five there. Now, still don't know what's in this circle, but it's probably... Yes, I do now, because where else can eight go in the box? It can't go on a line, because you couldn't get anything higher in the circle. So it must go there. That fixes six and eight. We've got a two, four pair looking along this row. Doesn't really do anything useful. That eight above has fixed that seven, eight pair. Seven there. This is an eight. Um, five, seven. Yes, this seven, eight's been fixed. That fixes seven, five. Now, ooh, this is high and that's low. Uh, five in the box must be there, given the fives we have placed. So that makes this a six. This has to be 
a three because we're sort of on an elevator going up to five there three and four that does two and four this is a two three seven triple which does mean we have repeats on a line i think that's the might be the first one i've definitely established but it was always likely um yes that's become a four two four pairs are done i think we're very nearly home now four and five just got what this four six pair to go and that should be the answer now it says yes i am just going to check that my between lines are all right because would be relatively easy to make a mistake that might get accepted by the marking system. Oh, there's another repeat digit on a line. One, two, seven, nine. Yeah, looks all right. We're tracking down this meandering path. That was always going to be all right. Nine, four, six, three. Yep, seven, eight, nine. It's a very clever construction, isn't it? I mean, I I do want to say my hat is off to the constructors who come up with these ideas and then. Create a puzzle that all works seven nine down to three. Yeah, um, who create an idea and come up with a puzzle with no given digits in just the simple rule set. You know, I know there are two black dots, but they were very helpful in the solving path. They were they provided an interesting part of the solving path, certainly in that case. It's so clever, it is so clever to come up with this, and I'm not sure that we give enough respect to the constructors day by day by day for their brilliance in creating these ideas. I'm so glad that was recommended. It was really interesting. Well done to 10 feet. I have no idea who you are, but I will be watching out for your name in future. Really interesting stuff. Thank you as always for watching and hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.